Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy new release night. Our last break of the night is going to be 2022 Panini Contenders Football. Six box, half case, pick your team three. Uh, pick your team three, half case from a fresh case. No vet base ships. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate it. Ryan, you got last spot mojo with the Texans before we pull the remaining teams for that Contenders break. Congrats to the winners in that break. There's everybody else. And there's a fresh case of Contenders football. We got three and three on the left side, three and three on the right side. Let's roll the die. We'll go one, two, three for the left side and four, five, six for the right six. And it's one. We'll go left side and this side will go, uh, this will be for break four. And we'll put four right there so you all know it's from the same case. I'm sure we'll knock that out. Uh, I'm sure we'll knock that out tomorrow. And if you're listening right now, if you're watching live right now, I would grab teams in that next one before it inevitably goes into a filler. There's ten teams left in Picker Team Four, and they are the Bengals, Broncos, Texans, Colts, Jaguars, Chiefs, Rams, Giants, Buccaneers, and Titans. So you may as well just grab them now before. Before someone else does, and before it goes into a filler. Now I know this is a football break, but we're on the eve of opening day for the baseball season. I'm excited. Who else is excited? We got MLB tonight on in the background. Who will win the 2023 Cy Young Award? Anyone got any thoughts on that? There's Julio Urias. Yeah, he's got a good shot. What about National League MVP? Trey Turner, maybe? Trey Turner, Austin Riley, Goldschmidt, Soto, and Nolan Arenado. I mean, if Trey Turner has like a 30-30 season, maybe he wins like a batting title or something like that, which he could. Soto was kind of up and down when he went to the Padres, but now that he's got a whole off season and a whole spring training with his team right there. Oh, we got some Cubs fans here. Redmond. Chris. Well, hopefully there'll be some big hits to keep you awake here. I'm going to start off with Alex Wright. Cleveland, this is for you. Jerry with the Browns. Hey, you're welcome, Charles. You might be lagging behind a little bit by a few minutes, but you are welcome. There's uh, Samuel Womack. Womack, what does that remind me of? Womack reminds me of the FBI character in The Rock. And Sean Connery's like, Womack, I knew it was you. And this Cam Taylor Britt. CTB is what they call him. CTB. That's for Cincinnati. We're on Cincinnati. Chris Stens with that. That's what the kids say. Let's see some fun. That's what the kids say. Let's see. Ooh, there's a plate there. How about that? That's not fire. It's rather cool to the touch. It is Jalen Tolbert. Silver, 
ticket. Rookie ticket autograph. Seven out of 49 on plate autograph for Sean Maddock and the boys. There you go. Picking his team. And we got Tyron Davis Price. That's your on card auto. Got an on plate auto, on card auto. Sean Maddock has the Niners. Ninety-two out of ninety-nine. And that should have been the last box for Joe Pizzle. Uh, well, Ryan and uh, Chris, what are what are your expectations? Well, this is, good. this is for everybody. Tell me who your team is, and maybe in a sentence or so, let me know what your expectations are for your team this season. And we got a six autograph. Marcus Jones. For the Patriots, that's going to be for Brandon and the Pats. And we'll do left-right randomizers for these. We'll set that over there. And I'll do a recap at the end as well. I'm a, yeah, we know some of those. Stance is saying, I'm a Cubs fan. Nothing but ignorant positivity here. World Series. <laughs> what, are the, uh, what are the odds of the Cubs winning the World Series? World Series odds, 2023. Let's Google that really quick. I think ESPN has an article there. Hey, good night, guys. Drive safe. It's a little rainy out there. Redmond a little more realistic. He's like, I just want the Cubs not to be in the basement. I like the guys you signed, but we'll need some time to get used to each other. Looks like the Cubs win total is 78 wins. And the Cubs are plus 600 to win the division, 6-1. to one. That's, that's good for third best. And the, to win the NL... Plus 3,500, that's 35 to 1. By comparison, the Cardinals are plus 950, a little under 10 to 1 to win the division. <laughs> also, a Bears fan, 17 and 0. Census Poppycock, World, World Series. Well, hey, I don't know if you're, you're into this sort of thing, but 35 to 1, that's not bad. You put 100 bucks on that. $3,500 coming back your way. That's just to get to the World Series. That's just to win the NL. World Series odds might even, that might even be better. I have a lot of friends from Chicago and there are uh, we're Cubs and Bears fans. Long suffering. Channing Tyndall. Is that the first time I've said poppycock on YouTube? No. <laughs> I've been doing this for about eight and a half years now. Aside from some, uh, some of the more serious curse words, pretty much every, I think every word in the Oxford English has been said on this channel. There's Chance Campbell. Chance going to Graham and the Titans. And we've got Kobe Bryant. No, not that Kobe Bryant, but Seattle Kobe, Seattle Seahawk football player Kobe Bryant. Justin with that one. It's also Kobe with a C and a Y.
We got a Saint. We got Trevor Penning. Rookie auto for Tim. Tim and Trevor. And we got John Mechie the third. Wow, that's pretty cool. Showcase ticket? Is that number? No, but there's like a, you see that, that, uh, I guess they would call it a step and repeat, but you see that? The RC badges on there, that's really cool. John Mechie, that's gonna be for Ryan Redmond, last bot mojo. 70% of the time, 100% of the time. And we got a winning ticket. One out of 10, that's Patty Mahomes. Patty Cakes. That'll be for Simon and the Chiefs. All right, next box. What is, I don't know who these odds are provided by, probably BetMGM or whoever, DraftKings, whoever their, the partner is for ESPN. But, but according to this, yeah, I think, so as a Dodgers guy, I, uh, I think last year they were never challenged. They, were never, they never faced adversity. I think they were a little on autopilot. I think, you know, that bred a little arrogance. I think they just thought they can just turn it on in the playoffs. And But once they got settled into a little adversity and they struggled in the playoffs and they were bounced by the Padres. So I think there's a little bit of that. I think some, some, I think some more adversity this season, more challenge this season will be good for the Dodgers. And after last year's playoff experience, that'll be good. Some young blood coming up the ranks. Miguel Vargas. James Outman, who I've got on my fantasy team I'm excited about. According to this ESPN article, they have the Dodgers win total at 94.5. Padres win total at 94. And it drops to the Giants at 81 wins. To win the division, minus 125. Padres to win the division, plus 110. So pretty close, pretty tight. And I think I think that's good for baseball. And that's just good for fans to see kind of a tight race throughout the, uh, throughout the season. I, th I think it's going to go back and forth. Dodgers aren't going to win 111 games. They're not going to win the division by 20 some odd games like they did last year. It's going to be a lot closer. Probably comes down to the last like week of the season, which... I think would be great. We got Jordan Mason. Jordan, old Jordan Mason jar. That's what they call him. Sean Maddock with the Niners. Speaking of baseball, Simon's going to go to your first opening day game next week. Nice. Who are, uh, who's your team? Oh, your team's the Twins. Who are they, who are they going to play? Nice, another one of those uh, RC badge step and repeats here. That's Logan Hall. Buccaneers, that's going to be for Simon. There you go, Simon. Won that team in the filler and gets the Logan Hall. Jerome Ford. Cleveland, this is for you. Jerry with Jerome. Step and repeat, by the way. It's you. You know when you see like celebrities on the red carpet and they're taking photos of people, and you see all you see like the background that has that print all over it, like a sponsor or something like that. I call that a call that a step and repeat. They're, they're stepping and repeating. And we've got. Hassan Haskins, rookie roundup on card autograph, 48 out of 99 gram in the Titans. 
won that team in the filler. Ooh, there's another plate here. A plate for the Texans. And it's a one-of-one one plate. Ryan Redman with the Houston Texans. One-of-one on-plate autograph. Damian Pierce. Who started off last season pretty strong. Ryan. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. And another autograph. No, not an autograph. A cracked ice Damian Harris, though. 17 out of 21. That's going to be for Brandon and the Patriots. All right, we are halfway through this break. Let's take a look at the uh, what are what are the twins numbers here? Going, going, going back real quick to uh, Simon and his twins. They open the, with the Astros. Twins are expected to win their division. The win total is at 83 and a half. White Sox are behind them, 82 and a half. Plus 220 to win the division. Although White Sox are actually plus 210 to win the division. Guardians are plus 125 to win the division. Oh, these win totals are not in order. It's 87 and a half minutes for the Guardians. Then it's the Twins. What about uh, player award odds? AL MVP. I know it's a football break, but you know, with with the with opening day and the baseball season tomorrow, we can talk a little bit about this. You know, there really won't be much to talk about football wise until we finally get to draft time. We'll talk, talk plenty of football then. Uh, Shohei Otani, plus two hundred. That's two to one to win the AL MVP. Aaron Judge plus four hundred. That's four to one. Mike Trout six to one. Julio Rodriguez eight to one. Jordan twelve to one. Guerrero Jr. 14 to 1. Jose Ramirez, 16 to 1. Corey Seager, Wander Franco, 22 to 1. Byron Bucks, Natalie Rushman, 25 to 1. Any, any, anything jump out there for you? Who likes those odds for what players? Now, it's easy to bet a favorite. Here's N'Kobe Dean. Rookie ticket auto for the Eagles. That's for Sal. But, uh. But. Who on that list? Do you like to win uh, the AL MVP? We got a George Carl Loftus rookie ticket autograph for the Chiefs. That's going to go to Simon. Sal's thinking Dever. Dever's not even on the list. He might be. He might be. His odds might be longer than twenty-five to one. Ten bucks on Buxton isn't too. Yeah, I don't think. I, I mean, health is the only thing holding Buxton back, right? Here's David Bell, five out of forty-nine, and Cleveland. This is for you, Jerry, with that one. I feel like Buxton has MVP talent, but health usually has been holding him back. There's a three out of ten rookie of the year contenders, Isaiah Pacheco. Chiefs, Simon. We got Jalen Virgil, rookie ticket autograph for the Broncos. You know what I keep forgetting to do? Maybe I'll maybe I'll print this list out. It's like what was Aaron Judge's MVP odds at the start of last season? Now he's starting the season at four to one. I'm all, I'm pretty certain that his odds were not four to one, were not plus four hundred at the beginning 
you know, a year ago at this time. Although there was a there was a lockout, right? So maybe, but no, around then, yeah, a year ago at this time. There's Trenton Gill, old Gill, a punter autograph for Chris and the Bears. Da Bears. I mean, he better be a Hall of Famer. Hold on to this one, Chris. <laughs> he ends up being a Hall of Fame punter. Just stick that in a drawer, wait for like 15, 20 years. Because if he's around 15 years plus, that's probably a Hall of Fame punting career. There's Chad Muma for the Jaguars. Simon. All right, almost there, two boxes to go. Good luck, everybody. Is he, is Hesser in the Hall of Fame? Um, NL MVP. I guess going back to AL MVP, it's probably no fun to just bet on guys under 10 to 1, right? I'll go with... I don't know. I, it'd be good for the hobby if Vlad Jr. maybe wins a uh, an MVP, right? He's 14 to 1. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Wander Franco, 22 to 1. That would be great, too. In the NL... Odds to win the 2023 NL MVP, according to ESPN.com and whoever their odds provider is, maybe BetMGM or DraftKings. Juan Soto plus 450, four and a half to one. Mookie Betts eight to one. Ronald Acuna Jr. nine to one. Manny Machado plus 950. And then Pete Alonso, Nolan Arenado, Freddie Freeman ten to one. Goldschmidt, Trey Turner, twelve to one. Tatis Jr. fourteen to one. Austin Riley fourteen to one. I think Hester has broken records for returns, right? As a special teamer, you would think that that would be his angle into the Hall of Fame as a as a special teams guy. That has to be honored somehow. All right, another five, possibly six autographs. Some boxes we've been seeing six. We've got uh, Gladiators, 16 out of 25. Hey, Timmy, do you like movies about Gladiators? Roger, Roger. What's the vector, Victor? We've got Tegan Quitoriano. It goes to Ryan and the Texans, Last Spot Mojo. We got a Mario Goodrich. Sal with the Eagles. We got a Kieran Williams. Rookie ticket auto for the Ramley. Whose house? Rams house. Simon. Remember how much Al Michaels loved that? The Who's House Rams House guy? I think he hated that guy. He's like, who is this guy? And every other down, Who's House? We got uh, Kingsley uh, and Agbare. Kingsley and Agbare? Kingsley Shacklebolt? Who is a prominent member of the Minister of Magic? The Ministry of Magic. That goes Green Bay. That's for Joe... Uh, different Joe P, Joe Pereira. We got a Malcolm Rodriguez autograph. Little cat team mojo for Russell and Detroit. I think we got a nice Saints auto coming up here. Stand by Saints. I think I think it's who we thought he was. Yes. Rookie ticket, on-card autograph, Chris Olave. 
Could be a could be a big season for him with Derek Carr throwing him the ball. Tim Carr, maybe a relation to Derek with the Saints. There you go. Cause it gets the Chris Olave. Rex has asked, Joe, I know you're not, not much of a sequel guy, but what is your favorite movie franchise? Right, I'm not a sequel guy. The only sequels that work is the Godfather, but they ruined it with Godfather 3. The original Star Wars trilogy is definitely up there. I mean, sequel friend, do you consider like James Bond like a sequel franchise? Those are pretty good. Indiana Jones minus the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. That's pretty good. Back to the Future, obviously. But I would probably, it would probably be, probably be Godfather, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, Back to the Future. Wait, a franchise? I don't know what your definition of franchise is. Like the, like the Marvel franchise? The Star Wars franchise? Because I guess Godfather wouldn't be a... I don't wouldn't consider that a franchise. Kill Bill is pretty good. Tarantino, allegedly, whatever his next movie is, Tarantino says that's going to be his last one. I feel like directors say that. I feel like Cronenberg has said he's going to make a last film for about a dozen films. All right, last box, last handful of autographs. Good luck. All right, there's Peyton Hendershot. That's for Dallas. Hendershot, that's a, that's a good that's a good country club name right there. For the Cowboys, once again for uh, for Sean Maddock. We got another Cowboy for Sean, Damon Clark, rookie ticket autograph. Sal likes the Oceans franchise. Did you consider Bill and Ted a franchise? I think Rex is maybe talking just about sequels, maybe not franchises. We got Lewis Sin, rookie ticket autograph for Sign? Sin? Ryan Redmond with the uh, Minnesota Vikings. I don't think any of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies are good. They were all kind of bad, weren't they? Shaquille, uh, Khalil Shakir. Buffalo! Jeff with the Bills. And look at this. What do we have here? We got James Cook. Two out of ten acetate. Buffalo! You consider a franchise being movies of the same name. So James Bond could and couldn't be considered a franchise. I think... Nice James Cook, by the way. Jeff with the Bills. I think a franchise would be like James Bond or the Star Wars movies or the Marvel movies. That, that's what I consider... I think that's what's widely accepted as a franchise, I would think. Or like Ocean's Eleven. I think anything with more than three movies... Mission Impossible would be a franchise. Star Wars would be a franchise. Avengers movies would be a franchise. James Bond would be a franchise. I feel like you'd have to have more than... More than three. Three's just a trilogy. Four is a franchise, right? All right, let's flip back to random.org. We, we gotta do that left-right randomizer. How many hangovers are there? Is that a franchise? 
Let's roll it and randomize it. One and a six, seven times, side on top after seven. We'll get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Right side cards, we'll get those after seven. Right here, and here is your recap. Cool acetate card. James Cook. Some other nice stuff here as well. Second half in the store, Chris Olave, jazpiescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. That was out of 10. I like the landscape mode. That's Damian Pierce printing plate autograph. That was cool. And I like that pattern right there as well. That Mahomes is out of 10. A lot of cool stuff, ladies and gentlemen. That's to 49. We start off with Alex Wright. There you go, boys and girls. Thanks for the late night rally. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreak.com, and I'll see you next time for the next football break. Bye-bye.